but what can I help you? For he that brought these plagues upon you will this, deliver you. This, this is Baruch asking, hey, saying, so how could I help you? How could I help the nation of Israel? For he that brought these plagues upon you, go ahead, will deliver you. Will deliver you. You see, going back into the prophecies, how is he going to deliver us? By giving us a Messiah, by giving us Yahweh Shai, man. Let me, go, let me grab a precept real quick, but you can finish that verse. From the hands of your enemies. Yep. Once again, the deliverance of the Molest state. We still got it right here. Deliverance from the molestation of thine enemies. The meaning of salvation in the Greek text, in the New Testament. Strong's G, 4991, Soteria. Soteria. Ah. You see, so that, that's, that's, what, that's what we have, man. The, the how, how are we going to be delivered? How is the Heavenly Father going to get us out of their hands? This is a... Uh, This is uh, Hebrews 9 and 15. And for this cause, he is the mediator of the New Testament. Speaking about who? Who's that speaking about, brother? Yahweh Shai, the Messiah, man. The mediator between us and the Heavenly Father. The connecting point. Because we were pushed off, man. Made too impure to ever return. So he had to give us what, man? A mediator between him, man. When you go into the book of Revelation, what does it say? No man was able to loose those seals from the book except for Yahweh Shai, except for the Lamb, you see? It's like when you go into the court system, you need a lawyer before you can go up to a judge when you have a case that's going to put you to death, you know, or life in prison, you know, and that's Yahweh Shai. He's coming before the Heavenly Father, pro proclaiming and testifying and pleading for us. Nope. Yahweh Shai was the only one to be able to be sinless in the flesh, man, to make a perfect sacrifice, uh, a sacrifice without blemish, you see? Fulfilling all the prophecy, even fulfilling fulfilling what the what the ancient uh, 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 sacrifices were about, man. You see, leading all the way up to Yahweh Shai being that perfect blemish. None of us were able to do that, man. It says that the elect's righteousness are as filthy rags. You see, because in, even in Yahweh Shai's time, uh, we couldn't do that because Yahweh Shai is the only one that was able to, man. Otherwise, we wouldn't have needed him. You would have had 144,000 guys that were able to uh, uh, conquer the flesh on their own. But we need Yahweh, man. We need Yahweh Shai. You see? We need the mediator, man. Because we're too impure. All right? But now, especially in today's generation, man, everywhere you look is complete madness, man. You see? So we're perfect in our generations, man. Striving against this flesh day in and day out, trying to overcome it, man. But knowing and understanding that we will overcome it through the sacrifice of Yahweh Shai. That's why when you go on, it says, he, he is the mediator of the new testimony, you see? Why is it new? It's been renewed. It's been renewed by the Heavenly Father, by Him giving us Yahweh Shai. It says that by the means of death for the redemption, all right? So Yahweh Shai died for who? The redemption? Somebody was redeemed. I mean, and they were brought to a place of needing redemption. They were brought to a place of needing to be delivered from the molestation of their enemies. It says, for the redemption of the transgressions that were under the first testament. So Yahweh Shai came to redeem those who transgressed the first testament, being the nation of Israel, man. We broke that covenant, and so our enemies reigned over us, and now we needed deliverance. Ah, see, I'm telling you that this is not for everybody again. You know, it, mm -hmm. it cuts up Christianity yep, it, again. It, and it even, it, even it, it drives that point right here, brother, because as, as you finish the verse, it says, they which are called, you see, showing you that not everybody's been called. Some people have been called, though. They which are called might, not will, but might receive the promise of eternal inheritance. So even we doing this video don't know for a surety that we're going to be saved, man, that we are the elect. But we strive in diligence, believing in so, man. You see, making the calling of your election sure. That's why we, you know, we go out week in and week out, you know. That's why we, we want to be around those who have this same doctrine, you know, we, we want to sit there and look up to them. We ask questions when we can't figure something out, you know, we, we, that's the only way. You know, if you think you got this on your own, you're wrong. You can't. There's no way. And we continue to bring that out. We need Yahweh Bashin Yahweh Shai. And just the way Yahweh appointed Yahweh Shai to be that mediator, he has put the apostles and the elders there for us so we can learn from them you know telling you that hey we need each other for this salvation you know ultimately you know, at the end of the day is yahweh who we're after but he has given us 
you know, the Abba Bidens. He has given us the uh, apostles and elders, you know, and camp leaders to for us to rely on and ask questions according to the Bible. You know, if we can't be having some kind of difficulty <clears throat> understanding something. He's given us order, man. There was never a time in the Bible where there was no order. You had Moses, you had the judges, you had you never had a time where there was no order, man. You see, so he's establishing his order, man. He's establishing his fold, and ultimately, he's establishing his elect with us, whoever they be, man. God. God, yeah, that's right, order. And that's how he's going to save us, man. Just like the brother just got what? He who brought us into this captivity, he's going to be the same one to save us. And how did he do that? By giving us a perfect sacrifice, man. By giving us Yahweh Shai, by giving us a way back into his graces. Go ahead, brother. Verse, uh, Baruch 4 19. Go your way, O my children. Go your way, for I am left desolate. I have put off the clothing of peace and put upon me the sackcloth of my prayer. I will cry unto the everlasting in my days. Verse 21. Be of good cheer, O my children. Cry unto the Lord, and he shall deliver you from the power and hands of the enemies. Deliver you from the power and the hands of the enemies. You know what? What is that? What does that mean? Being delivered from the power and hands of your enemies? Let's read it again. It says, "The breakdown, the the meaning of salvation, deliverance of the molestation of thine enemies." You see, he's gonna read that part again. Let's see, uh, it's uh, in the middle of verse twenty-one, and he shall deliver you from the power and hands of the enemies. Giving us salvation, man. Offering us salvation. You see? Go ahead, brother. Right. Verse 22. For my hope is in the everlasting, that he will save you. You see? His hope is in the everlasting, man. The heavenly father. That he's going to save us, man. That he's going to redeem us. And this is why they were waiting for this during the time of the New Testament. Let me just go ahead and touch on it since I, I, keep, I keep bringing it up. This is uh, Luke That's chapter 1. And... Uh, Verse 68, it says, Blessed be the Lord, power of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people. And this was uh, this was Zacharias. The Holy Spirit was stirred up within him, and he started prophesying, man. He started rehearsing these same prophecies that are throughout the whole scripture, man. Throughout Jeremiah 30, throughout Isaiah 11, throughout Baruch 4, throughout Joel, man. Throughout the whole Bible, man. Throughout Obadiah, you go on and on, you see. And what did he say? That the Heavenly Father has redeemed his people. Why? Because... John was born because Yahweh Shai was born, man. That was to mark the time of the redemption of the nation of Israel, man. Of us being brought back. Why? Because we knew through the prophecies. He just read it right here, man. And who knows, man. Zechariah may not even, he may not even fully, even fully understand what he was saying, man. But you see, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, we have what we need right here to collect what we need for salvation, man. To receive the glorious light of this gospel, man. It says, uh, verse 69, and hath raised up the horn of salvation for us, you see, for the Israelites. He rose up a horn be, representing power, man. Being Yahweh Shai, it says, in the house of his servant David, you see, being Yahweh Shai. That's why when you read Matthew 1, it, it starts with telling you the whole genealogy, beginning with Abraham and ending with uh, uh, Yahweh Shai. I believe it begins with Abraham, maybe Isaac. But uh, going on, it says, verse 70, as he spake by the mouth of it, his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. You see, since the world began, he had the prophets raising up and speaking about this salvation, speaking about the Messiah, speaking about Yahweh Shai, speaking about the redemption of the nation of Israel, man. It is Abraham. Con, It says, uh, I'll just read down a couple more. It says, that we should be saved from our enemies. There you go, man. The, the breakdown of salvation again. That we should be saved from our enemies. Who needed to be saved from their enemies? Was it the so-called Chinese man? Was it the so-called uh, uh, Romans? It says, it's like going on, it says, uh, and from the hand of all that hate us to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant, you see? And where, where did we read that? Deuteronomy 28 and 1, man. That holy covenant, man, remembering his holy covenant, uh, 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 performing the mercies that he promised to us, that he prophesied would come to pass, man. You see, you, this is why when you go into the book of Daniel, it shows you all the different ions that would ever rule on the planet Earth, man. And all these different nations that would bear dominion, beginning with uh, uh, Babylon, because that's who was in power at that time. You see, telling you about the Romans who were yet, yet to even exist, man. The Cretans. 
the Medes, you see, all the way working its way up to this last kingdom that would come in the likeness and the stead of Rome. And once that place falls, being, the, being this, this Babylonian empire, this confusing place, man, once that falls, then we will be established forever, man. What I say, the saints will take and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever, man. That's the time that we're approaching, man. Vastly. Uh, and see, and, and uh, Esau Edom ain't gonna put this uh, leg over this earth easily, man. He's, uh, what, what happened with a, was that Huron? Huron? When uh, the Messiah was born? He went uh, uh, killing every two-year-old two boy and under? Oh, Herod. Herod? Herod? Uh, uh, see, that, that, that's the same thing. Now now we're proclaiming we're the heirs of this earth. You think Esau Edom's going to go down lightly? Mm -hmm. what, what, he says he's going to come in like a great flood. Uh, that's right, man. Uh, back in uh, Baruch 4 and 22, for my hope is in the everlasting that he will save you, nope. and joy is come unto me from the Holy One. Uh, our hope is in the in the Heavenly Father, man, that he's going to be the one to save us, and joy is come, man. This is a beautiful, what I keep saying, man, a beautiful time that we're living in, man, because we've received the glorious light of this gospel, man. Call halal yimalal yahawah by Hashem Yahushai. Because we could be just like these other guys out here, man. Yeah, that's why I'm very And you viewers could be too, man. The Spirit has drawn you to watch this video. And not only that, to, to, to you know, uh, uh, sit here and, 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 and absorb so far 45 minutes of this, uh, of, of this knowledge, man. You see, that's a, that's a mercy, man. Go ahead, brother. And that's why he said in verse 5, be of good cheer. Mm -hmm. It says, because of the mercy which shall soon come unto you That's from right. the everlasting our Savior. Which shall soon come from the everlasting our Savior. Go And, and, and they were waiting for it, man. That's why in Luke there was celebration, man. Go ahead. I... For I sent you out with mourning and weeping, but the Most High will give you the give you to me again. Yep, I sent you out with mourning and weeping. He cast us off, man. Going back into Hosea 8 and 8, Israel's cast off amongst the Gentiles and will be among the Gentiles as a vessel wherein there is no pleasure, man. You see, but now he's called us back in, man. He's called us back to this light. This, this tells you uh, 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 what, what, the, what the wild olive tree is talking about within Romans 11, man. We've been mixed into this world and come back to this wild-ass creature, man. All kind of shaved face or whatever the case is, man. Maybe some wild, you know, just different heathenistic customs we've consumed and absorbed throughout this world, man. But now we're returning to who we are, man. Huh. Growing up as a little kid, man, I thought it, 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 shaving was something I should always do, man. I was, I remember mm -hmm. five years old, I was over there taking my brother's razors and yeah. trying to shave all the hair that I seen on my face. Uh, I remember seeing peach fuzz, man, and getting mad. <laughs> Shows you the wickedness, you know, yep. how this world is upside down right now. Verse 23, for I sent you out with mourning and weeping, but the Most High will give you to me again with joy and gladness forever. Ah, uh, with joy and gladness for how long? For uh, uh, 13 years? For 144 years? For what? Forever. Forever, man. What did, I, what did I quote earlier out of the book of Daniel, man? Daniel in the seventh chapter. The saints shall take and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever, man. This is going to be the war to end all wars, man. Go ahead, brother. You want to keep doing? You want to jump down something? Or? Uh, just go ahead and keep going, man. We'll, uh, so, I mean, we'll, we'll have to close it up soon, but we'll just keep going. Verse 24. Like as now the neighbors of Zion have seen their captivity, so shall they see shortly your salvation hey, from... Man. These heathen nations have seen our captivity. They've oppressed us. Wherever we are in the world, we have been forced to build up the society and the economies of these places, man. We've built these buildings. We've paved these roads, man. Set up the, the architecture here. Planted the plants, you see. All to make pennies while we've built up the economies of these uh, uh, nations, man. Not only over here in America, but throughout the whole world, man. There are Israelites suffering throughout the world. And the heathens have seen what they've done to us. But go ahead. Now they're, now they're gonna see us return to that light, man. You see? And they're gonna they're gonna be subject unto us, continually giving us their their goods, man, continuously paying us with their riches, you see? Go ahead, brother. So 
so shall they see shortly This is a lot of the nation of Israel, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are not what you received to be, man. Your history didn't start with the Western colonization of the uh, of, of this uh, uh, planet Earth, man. Okay, your history began with the creation. Go ahead, bro. So shall they see shortly your salvation from our power which shall come upon you with great joy and brightness of the everlasting. Go ahead, brother. My children, suffer patiently the wrath that is come upon you from the, the Most High, for thy enemy hath prosecuted thee, but surely thou shalt see his destruction and shall tread upon his neck. Ooh, shortly we're going to tread upon the neck of our enemy, man. Shortly we're going to, we're going to, uh, 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 have the dominion over him you see he's seen our destruction but shortly he's about to see our uh, uh us 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 return back into our stead man go ahead brother verse 26 my delicate ones have gone rough ways and were taken away as a flock caught of the enemies yep. but We've been, we've been taken away in the, into the hands of the enemies, man. This wicked, wicked so-called white man and all these other heathen nations, you see? Go ahead, brother. Verse Actually, 27. Let, me, let me go ahead and grab this precept real quick. This is uh, Genesis uh, 49. And uh, verse 8, it says, Judah... Thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise in the hand, uh, and thy hand shall be on the neck of thine enemies. Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. And going down to verse uh, 10. Uh, it said, oh, we'll go down to verse, uh, yeah, verse 10. It says, The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from between his feet to, until Shiloh comes. Speaking about Yahweh Shai, you speak. Going all the way to Genesis, man, it was prophesied about Yahweh Shai stemming from the seed line of Judah, man. And what did it say? That they're going to put their hand on the necks of their enemies. What did it say? That they're going to tread upon their enemies, man. When you go into the book of uh, uh, Luke, it tells you Yahweh Shai said that he's going to tread upon the serpent, man. He's going to tread the serpent down, you see? Telling you line after line after line again, man, Yahweh Shai is coming to destroy the dominion that the so-called white man has built up here in the society, man. Which has ultimately polluted the entire planet and every single nation around you. Go ahead, brother. Verse 27. Be of good comfort, O oh my children, and cry unto the Most High. See, this is why Yahweh Shai said, I'm, I came to comfort you, man. I'm the comforter, you see? Go ahead. The Holy you... Spirit is able to, to, to bring us comfort when we read these words, man. For you shall be remembered of him that brought these things upon you. He's remembered us, man. We haven't been forgotten, though it may feel like it. You see, though we suffer day in and day out, and whatever the case may be, man, the Heavenly Father has not forgotten about His beloved Israelites, man. Go ahead, brother. Verse 28. For as it was your mind to go away yep, from the most high... It beginning high. with us going away. It was our minds, man. It wasn't the Heavenly Father didn't just, uh, uh, you know, uh, cause you to, to go astray, man. It, it was our minds that stirred us up to cause us to go astray. You see? Go ahead, brother. And with the elect, man, he, he gives us a way out of these situations. You see, but nonetheless, us, our fall began with us. Go ahead, brother. So being returned, seek him ten times more. Yep, so now, now that we've been returned, man, seek him ten times more. Make the calling of thy election sure. You see, strive, man. Fight for the throne, man. Go ahead, brother. For he that hath brought these plagues upon you shall bring you everlasting joy again with your salvation. Right, so we truly believe in that, man. We truly believe. That's why we should try so hard to, 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 to better ourselves, man, to become whole new beings in the eyes of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, to strive against this flesh. And the world has a problem with it, man. Christianity has a problem with it. That's why you have people who've dedicated their whole lives to try to, to, try to uh, uh, prove us wrong, man, to try to come up and, and scream and shout at us and, you know, whatever the case may be, man. Why? All we're doing, man, is bettering ourselves, man. They want you to go back to being a, 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 a two-third, man, being in the world. They want you to go back to being simple, man, being consumed with uh, 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 football games and nothing but chasing these goddamn beat-up, uh, beat-up, used-and-abused bitches out here, man. 
You see, eating this, eating, uh, nothing but looking forward to enjoying your, uh, uh, you know, your Saturday cookout and, and your uh, uh, Sunday catfish church uh, five minute uh, break now. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. Verse 30. But we truly believe in, in this thing, man. We truly believe in these prophecies. And these prophecies make it clear, man. As you've seen, what do we say at the beginning, man? That, that these prophecies uh, really, uh, everything is centered around these prophecies within the Bible, man. And you see, when you go into them, it just exposes the light, man. Go ahead, God. Verse 30. Take a good heart, O Jerusalem, for he that gave thee that name will comfort thee. Nope. Miserable are they that afflict thee and rejoice at thy fall. Miserable are the cities which thy children serve. Nope. Pretty soon, man, these places, this, this place here in America specifically, is prophesied to get hit with 200 million thermonuclear missiles, man. This place is 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 about to be the the, the lake of fire, man. What to say? Miserable are they? You see, this place is about to be in a miserable state because what it's done to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Go ahead, and really, all, all the, the the whole world is about to catch judgment. Go ahead, brother. Miserable is she that received thy sons. Yep. Miserable. Who, who's received? Who's received? Uh, uh, the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American into slavery and servitude, man. Yeah. They're about to be made miserable. You see, this is why. This is why Revelation uh, 13 and 9 and 10 tells you that he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity, man. He that kills with the sword must be killed with the sword. The so-called white man has raped, robbed, and murdered the entire planet. And, and now he is going to pay for it, man. What we are seeing here on the planet Earth, all this chaos is leading up to the destruction and the judgment that has been so long and patiently waited for the so-called Caucasoid. And really anybody who's fallen underneath his banner, which includes two-thirds of our people, man. That's why, that's why what? That's why, that's why what was said, man. You're of your father the devil, man. You've chosen your father, man. You've chosen the so-called white man. And now you're going to die with him. Go ahead, brother. Verse 33, for as she rejoiced at thy ruin and was glad at thy fall, so shall she be grieved for her own desolation. Nope. For I will take away the rejoicing of her great multitude, and her pride shall be turned into mourning. Yep, and that's all, already you're seeing this, man. You're already seeing their pride turn into great mourning. We look at their, we're tearing down their statues through the spirit of power of Yahweh by Shem Shai. The light is coming to, to expose what they've done, man. This whole world being built up in, in wickedness, man. And now their wicked deeds are coming to light. You see? Let me get this set back in. Uh, this is uh, Jeremiah 42 and 18. For thus said Yahweh Bashem Shai of hosts, the power of Israel, as my anger and my fury hath been poured forth upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem, so shall my fury be poured forth upon you. When ye shall enter into Egypt, ye shall be an execration and an, an astonishment and a curse and a reproach. And ye shall see this place no more. God. So nope. hey, the Most High made 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 us into a byword, a reproach, and in this in this place and time right now, man. You know we're an astonishment unto every everybody here that lives in Babylon and across the whole entire earth. Nope. So the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahshua, man, we're returning into His good graces. You see. And, and this is the time that we're at, you see. These prophecies are coming forth, man. The, the, the bones are coming to life. You see, and social media is used as a heavy platform now to spread the truth, man, which you're going to have a lot of, you know, a lot of folly and what have you on there, man. But nonetheless, man, the, the job is being done, man. The message is being heard, man. What we've been striving for is, 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 is finally coming to pass, man. But we can go ahead and close it up on that, man. You know, we wanted to get through the whole chapter, but, you know, we got, we got, we got close enough, man. <laughs> but, uh, you know, man, it's, uh, you know, the, the kingdom of heaven is one of my favorite topics to go into, man. The, the redemption of the nation of Israel, man, all of it uh, 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 contains what the meaning of this gospel is, man, what the meaning of this good news is, which is glorious news for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans who have come out of that mindset and return to who your true heritage and your true nationality, 
as the children of Israel and the children of Yashurala. And ultimately, it will bring forth redemption of the whole entire planet, man, because the whole planet is in chaos and destruction without those who were created to inherit the planet, who were created to rule in power. The so called white man has destroyed everything, man. And what we're seeing is a turnaround. You see? And with that, you have anything else you want to bring out, brother? That Lord willing is edifying unto the elect, man, those who were offended, man. May you be uh, uh, filleted, man, like a fish. <laughs> With the spirit of power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. With that, we can go ahead and close up, man. Call Allah Yahweh, 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 Yahwe